It's all coming up tonight on The Bachelor. It's very easy for nice me to move. do. Nice move. Breaking into your program to let you know about a tornado Come on, warning man. that has been issued for Greene County. You need to be taking this shelter ridiculous. immediately. ridiculous. Now wait just a second. Before you throw that remote at me and break your TV, because I broke into your programming, take a second to think about what you're doing. Listen, I love me some Grey's Anatomy and The Bachelor too. I found it with somebody else more. What? Oh no! You gotta give the rose to JoJo. Yeah. Oh, what are you thinking, Ben? Ugh. But really, when it comes down to it, is a TV show more important than someone's life? Believe it or not, almost every single weather event that we have to cut into programming, to give life-saving information, our station and meteorologist will get emails like this. So who's the idiot that decided it was a good idea to interrupt the biggest live sporting event in the world for weather update? Or Facebook messages like this. I can't believe you guys. Ah, you had the audacity and the stupidity to break and announce and show a map of a possible tornado. It wasn't an actual tornado. So why'd you have to break in on the show? We do our very best not to break into programming unless it's necessary. When a tornado warning is issued for one of our counties, we break in to let our viewers know. Oh, and let me remind you, we have to cover 37 counties. So when one part of the viewing area may not have any storms, the other may have a tornado bearing down on their home. We simply want to give people as much time and information as possible so they can take shelter. We do this by cutting in, giving the information, and then returning to programming. In the event of imminent danger, such as a tornado confirmed, we stay on the air until the threat has passed. So put the remote down, take a deep breath, and let us tell people when a storm could be taking their life or property. And as a reminder, don't forget, you can actually watch many of the shows you see on KSPR at abc.com online later. Now who's going to get that final rose?